Hey guys, what is up? This is AJ here, bringing you another Pokemon Showdown battle. So this one was with uh, Ultra Pokemon 1, 2, 2, 2. And uh, this one was a pretty close match. Um, well, actually not this one. The next one is a pretty close match. It was a EU match. This is the OU match, uh, which I kind of do really good on predicting and doing that kind of stuff, basically. Um... Uh, I did an OU match with my electric team, but I didn't do so well because obviously you can tell I don't really have a good team on my uh, electric types against him. So I was like, eh. Um, so I go for the ice beam, uh, get him down to half health, about 54%. Um, and then obviously he's going to go for the outrage because... I mean, he's plus one attack and plus one speed. I mean, if he doesn't go for the Outrage, then that'd be just idiotic. Um, but he does go for the Outrage, and he knocks out my Poly Swag. I, don't, I still need to change my name for that. But I go into my Slush, because I know... Sluggish, because I know he'll take those... Um, those things like a boss. So I go for the Leech Seed. I think I missed the first time, so I'm just... Eh. So then I go for another one. Or uh, he knocks me down to 27%. I go for another one, and I finally get him with the Leech Seed. And then just basically stall him out until he faints this time. Uh, because uh, his confusion ended up ending because of um, a, a lump berry. Yeah, a lump berry. And, but it doesn't really matter because I have the Protect on me, so I go for the Protect, and he tries to go for the Outrage, but he, uh, or he goes for the Fire Punch, because that would have probably knocked me out, but it doesn't work, because I did do Protect. So I end up knocking out his, um, Pimp Knight, which was probably going to be the m most annoying Pokemon to face for me, and then he goes in to wreck his shit. So then he goes for the Close bat Combat, he knocks out my, uh, Sluggish, thought I might survive a little bit, but I guess not. He he is a very powerful Pokemon, so I don't know why I thought it. Um, he's down to 78%. I go back from a sluggish because obviously he knocked it out. I was thinking here what to go into, and then I go into my Cloyster just to um, basically knock him out. I already knew no, he has a Scizor that would knock me out straight afterwards, but um, I might as well have just gotten this out of the way because it would have probably wrecked my team pretty well because I'm pretty sure as close combat, um, Stone Edge, and probably everything that'll wreck my team up. So I just go for the Shell Smash, go for the Icicle Spear, and then knock his uh, wreck shit out. And then uh, obviously he's going to be going into his Scizor. So he goes into his scissor, obviously he's going to go for the bullet punch, knock out my smirk the worker, because obviously that's the only thing he can do. If he didn't do that, then, eh, well, why? I mean, there I have seen someone that has not uh, put on bullet punch on their scissor, and I don't, know, I don't even know why they didn't do that. Um, but here's the funny thing, um, I go into my chompers and I'm like, uh, well, most of his team only has like this steel bug type so I might as well go for the um, hidden power fire so I go for the hidden power fire it's super effective and I'm just trying to knock out a spiky because that thing's gonna definitely stall me out if it does hit me and he goes for the leech seed and he misses and thank god because that would have probably annoyed the god forsaken out of me and then he goes into a um, his I'm a star and chompers is actually uh, scarfed so I was just like ooh I need to switch out so I go ahead and switch out into my Vaporeon um my Gilly my Vaporeon's named Gilly I don't even know why I don't even know what the reference is off of that and then I realized he has a life orb so I'm just like this can be this can be useful to me so I think I go for the hydro pump yep I go for the hydro pump knock out his I'm spiky with a critical hit Oh no, I just have a water gem. I go for the uh, Hydro Pump, gets the water gem off, and uh, hit him. And obviously that's going to knock him down, especially with the wa uh, water gem. He goes for a Psychic, and I'm just like, whatever, bro. 
And I go for the Hydro Pump and I miss. I'm just... Which was, like, really, really weird. But he goes for another Psychic and then he doesn't know that this is a Hydration Gilly. So I'm basically just gonna stall him out until he just faints with um, his attack. So I'm just... Yeah, I'm just like, come at me, bro. Come on, seriously. So then I wake up, go for the Hydro Pump. But he switches out into Scizor, which was a horrible, horrible move because I go for the Hydro Pump and I get a critical hit and it knocks him out with one hit. And I'm just like, wow, I, Gilly's just wrecking it now. And so he goes into I'm a Star. Um, he goes for the Psychic. Doesn't do very much. Does about 30. And then I go for the Hydro Pump. I think I knock him out with this this attack, actually. I don't know. I almost do. And then he uh, goes for the obvious Psychic to just basically let himself get knocked out. And I was going to go for the rest, but I, I didn't have time to. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, good game, Ultra Pokemon. Uh, go check him out. I will leave a description down below. Um, he also did uh, another one of the UU match, so I guess... I won't upload that one. I'll just send it to you guys so you guys can see that match. It was a pretty close one, and I end up winning by Tad, but it was still a really good battle, and I suggest you guys, you guys go watch it. Later.